What is the Bitcoin having? When is the Bitcoin having? How does it work? Why does it happen? What effect will the Bitcoin having have on the price? So many questions with so little time as we are now T minus 30 days from this highly anticipated Bitcoin having event. So let's get right into it. What is the Bitcoin having? The Bitcoin having refers to the reduction in Bitcoin block rewards issued to miners by half. At the time of this video, the block reward for miners is 6.25 newly minted Bitcoin that were not previously in circulation. And when the next halving occurs in April 2024, in a few weeks, the block reward will halve or decrease by half, which will give miners 3.125 of newly minted Bitcoin per validated block. Okay, so what the heck does all of that even mean? Well, it's actually much simpler than it sounds if we understand three key concepts about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin network. Concept one, the Bitcoin blockchain. The Bitcoin blockchain is basically a live running record of all the Bitcoin transactions. And the simplest way to understand what blockchain means is by separating the word block from the word chain. So imagine records of individual transactions, like payments sent to or from one person to another, getting listed or recorded one after the other. And once a certain amount of transactions in the list has been reached, a block is formed, which works out to a new block of Bitcoin transactions being created every 10 minutes or so. So once the maximum amount of transaction data for a block has been met, the block is added behind a previous block of transactions. Now we can imagine these blocks of transaction records linked together similar to a chain. So blockchain is simply groups of transaction data that are linked together. And the basic structure of the Bitcoin blockchain consists of a network of computers around the world with Bitcoin software installed on them. And when Bitcoin transactions occur, the data is spread around this network of computers that validate the transaction, add the transaction to their copy of the running ledger of Bitcoin transactions, and then broadcast the new version of the ledger with the new transactions to the other computers on the network. Which brings us to concept two, Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is the process that computers, a part of the Bitcoin blockchain network, use to verify new transactions to ensure the accuracy, immutability, and ultimately the security of the entire network. These computers are called miners, and the mining process requires miners to follow a proof of work consensus protocol, where computer processing power is used to solve and create cryptographic hashes, which is what links the blocks of transactions together. So new blocks of transactions have a unique hash from the previous block, and to get published to the ledger, it requires the creation of another unique hash, which will go through a validation process and then get passed on to the next block and so on and so forth. To create a new unique hash for the block of transactions, miners compete with each other using computer power to try to be the first one to come up with the hash. So without getting too technical with details of the mining process, the basic concept we need to know to understand the Bitcoin halving event is that miners are rewarded with Bitcoin each time they verify a new block of transactions. These rewards are in place to incentivize people to participate in the mining process to ensure the Bitcoin network continues to be audited and essentially maintained. And the mining rewards are a combination of newly minted Bitcoin that were not previously circulating and transaction fees of Bitcoin that were already circulating. Which brings us to concept three, the Bitcoin supply. There is a fixed supply of Bitcoin programmed into the protocol that cannot be changed. So the total number of Bitcoin that can ever exist is 21 million units, which means over time with a fixed supply and steady or increased demand over time, the value of Bitcoin will increase, which is what we have been experiencing now over the past few months with the increased demand for Bitcoin from spot Bitcoin ETF approvals. The amount of Bitcoin available for big institutions to buy in large quantities without affecting the price using OTC desks or over-the-counter desks is at all-time lows, which means they will have to start buying Bitcoin from public exchanges and those purchases will have a direct effect on the price, causing it to rise. So circling back to what the Bitcoin having is, the amount of new Bitcoin entering circulation, having or being cut in half in the midst of all of this unprecedented demand, what effect will it have on the price? Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we are going to learn more about the Bitcoin having, explore what has happened before and after previous Bitcoin having cycles, and why this time around could be a lot different. Let's hit it. Please be sure to check out our sponsors, Morales Money, CoinLedger, and Tandrum Wallet. Know when to buy, sell, and hold crypto with the Moneyline tool we've been using for several months now to monitor bullish and bearish trends in the market, as well as find altcoin gems before they pump with Morales Money. 
which is a whopping 75% off for a limited time using the link below. Get your crypto taxes done quickly and easily in three simple steps with CoinLedger, a platform we can use for free to see an overview of our gains and losses, as well as download the tax forms we need to file ourselves, upload the TurboTax, or hand off to our accountant, like Lorenzo CPA, my accountant. You can book a free call with in the links below and invest in your very own cold storage hardware wallet like Tangent Wallet. It's the size of a credit card, multi-currency, multi-chain, and it's by far the easiest crypto wallet to set up and use on the market right now. So scroll down and use links below to access the correct and official sites, as well as redeem any special offers they have for us. Sweet. Bitcoin halvings are programmed into the protocol to occur every 210,000 blocks. So since a new block of transactions is completed roughly every 10 minutes, this works out to an average Bitcoin halving event every four years, with the most recent one occurring back in May of 2020. When Bitcoin was first developed in 2009, the block reward was 50 Bitcoin per block. Then in 2012, the first halving event reduced the block reward to 25 Bitcoin. And in 2016, the second halving reduced the block reward to 12.5 Bitcoin. And in 2020, the block reward reduced to 6.25 Bitcoin, what it currently is until April 2024, when it will drop to 3.125 Bitcoin. And at this rate of 3.125 Bitcoin per block, which occurs roughly every 10 minutes, about 450 new Bitcoin are minted daily, making the inflation rate 1.1%, much less than the US dollar's inflation rate. And when the last Bitcoin is minted in the year 2140, the inflation rate will drop to zero. Amazing. So let's explore what has happened to Bitcoin's price following halving events. Back in November of 2012, when the first Bitcoin halving occurred, Bitcoin was around $11. Then one year later, in 2013, Bitcoin spiked to around $1,100, the highest Bitcoin had ever been at that time, before dropping down to around $220 and remaining under $1,000 for the next few years. Then in July of 2016, when the second halving occurred, Bitcoin was around $600. And about 18 months later, near the end of 2017, it spiked to $20,000 before dropping back down to 8,000 and even 3,000 during 2019. And the most recent halving back in May of 2020 was in the midst of some unusual times due to the pandemic. So Bitcoin was about 8,000 when the halving occurred. And then about one year later in April, 2021, hit around 63,000. And then it's ultimate all time high in December, 2021 of around 69,000. And then it dropped down to 40 and even below 20,000. So what's interesting about this time around is Bitcoin over the past few weeks in 2024, hit a new all-time high before the next halving, which has never happened before. Historically, the price will rise a bit due to pre-halving hype. And then the months immediately following a halving event, Bitcoin's price doesn't show much movement until around 12 to 18 months after a halving. So is it possible that the market has already priced in the halving? Well, a couple of scenarios could play out. One, leading up to the halving, we see more spikes in Bitcoin's price followed by a significant drop due to a lot of people thinking something magical is going to happen immediately following the halving. Or two, depending on what happens between now and then over the next few weeks, macro events or other forces could cause Bitcoin to keep climbing or drop before the halving. There's a lot of room for opposing theories, opinions, and predictions about the future of Bitcoin's price with the halving in the years following. So let me know your random wild guess in the comments below. My random wild guess, as we've been discussing on the channel over the past few weeks on my AMA or Ask Me Anything videos, is we won't see Bitcoin below 60,000 again. And in November of this year, we see a peak of 169,420 per Bitcoin. Even more recently though, I'm thinking more and more that peak price point may be a bit conservative given the massive amount of demand from the spot Bitcoin ETF approvals. We shall see in due time. At the end of the day, it's important to do all of our own research, draw our own conclusions, and create our own investment strategy around the impending 2024 Bitcoin halving, while also considering it's an extremely important election year for the United States, among other things that could transpire throughout the year. The halving will be here before we know it. So I challenge all of you before then to invest in your own cold storage hardware wallet, set it up, and transfer your Bitcoin off of exchanges so you can completely own and control it. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a wallet in less than 60 seconds and transfer crypto to it also in less than 60 seconds with Tangent Wallet. Opening the box, here we have the three cards. Next, installing the correct and official Tangent Mobile app on our phones and opening the app, tap scan card and touch one of the cards to your phone like so. Next, click create wallet and tap the card to your phone again. Nice, now we have a crypto wallet. Let's create backups of it. 
Tap Backup Now, and then tap Add a Backup Card, and tap the second card to your phone. Cool. Now tap Add a Backup Card again, and tap the third card to your phone. Then tap Finalize the Backup Process, and enter an access code to secure your wallet. Re-enter the access code to verify it, and then scan the primary card ending in the corresponding numbers on the screen. That matches the card, holding it up to your phone until the operation is complete. Then repeat this process for the two backup cards. That's it. It's configured and ready to use. So now let's move some Bitcoin we have from the Coinbase exchange together to our Tangent wallet in less than 60 seconds. Open the Tangent app, tap scan card, scan the card, enter your access code, scan the card again. And from here on the dashboard, press and hold Bitcoin, then tap copy address. Next, open the Coinbase exchange app, tap the send button, tap Bitcoin, paste the Tandrum Bitcoin wallet address into the to field and tap continue. Enter the amount of Bitcoin we want to send. I always recommend sending a small amount to test to make sure everything is good to go. In this case, we are sending $100 worth of Bitcoin. Tap preview, then tap continue. Make sure everything looks good, then tap send now. And it's on its way. In a few minutes or so, we will open our Tandrum app and see the $100 worth of Bitcoin we sent that we now completely own and control. Repeat the same process for any other cryptocurrency by copying the corresponding address on Tandrum Wallet. Also making sure we select the right network. Like for example, with Tether, there are many other available networks like Ethereum versus BNB Smart Chain versus Solana and more. Then repeat the same similar process on any other exchange you may have crypto on by using the send function, pasting the address in the recipient field, and checking to make sure everything looks good before sending. The process is actually much easier and simpler than most people new to crypto think, and it's a lot like riding a bike. I can try to explain how to ride a bike, show you how to ride a bike, you can read about riding a bike, however, at the end of the day, you need to get on the bike and ride it for yourself to learn. So start practicing transferring to and from different exchanges and wallets to prepare for this face melting bull cycle so you can take profit and potentially change your life with some nice gains. If you want to watch a full video on how to use Tandrum, check out this video guide by clicking on the link above and scroll down and use links below for a nice discount and to access Tandrum's correct and official site. Awesome. So if you would like to increase your chances of making gains by buying and selling altcoins at the right time using the money line, check out this video. If you would like to learn the best proven strategy in crypto, which is how to DCA or dollar cost average into the crypto markets, check out this video. And to get your taxes done quickly and easily with CoinLedger, click on the link on the screen. Like and subscribe for more. Be safe out there.